Hello, and welcome back to the Conquest Relay. It's me, Zone again, and I can see that I have chapter 18, which is surprising. After I left off Odin and Nyx with their respective weapon ranks, they were also one point away from reaching S rank, so the Paralogue from Ophelia is expected to be played by the others. So, me having chapter 18 means that either they unlocked another Paralogue or one of them played Invasion 2. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, Errol is a priestess, which is about what I expected since Zoran did get the Heart Seal privileges from chapter 16. And yeah, so Strength plus 2 launched. So she did get two levels from being in the Weapon Rider class that I put her in. And that was Zell and Lift Surf. Wait. These are Butler skills. How in the world did they end up being there? Wait. Does that mean she was reclassed into a mate? And then into Priestress? This must have happened before Zoran played, right? So either Zoran had like two seals at the same time, or. Or Septi did it for chapter 15. Very, very dubious. Odin is level 3, and. Oh, his speed has been covered. I know that um, if I had promoted him in chapter 14 last time, he would have exactly 19 speed as a master of arms. And yeah, I was kind of hoping for a sword master because it has more magic and more speed. But master of arms is a good choice as well because of the beast killer and almost there, not almost, I mean the hammer. And I could potentially run double magic weapons with the bolt axe and eleven sword. So yeah. Him getting his speed back is really good. 22 strength. Yeah, this this is a good unit. Rest is pretty terrible, but rest is not a stat, so yeah. And Leo. Okay. I'm guessing he married. Leo? Car okay. Yet, okay. <laughs> so yeah. Hmm. Super. I guess we are doing Super Leo, which is kind of lame, and yeah, I just don't like using, I just don't like using Leo because I, his hit rate is usually not good, like 60 luck, 18 skill, for a super unit that's supposed to be reliable and kill everything, that's kind of, that's very mid, and doesn't even have advantage yet, so he's definitely not very good as a vantage sweeper yet, anyways, so, hmm. Huh. Calamity Gate, so Ophelia was done. Yep, I can see her down here. And wait. The second Calamity Gate? That's. Something definitely isn't right here. Practice Katana. I'm not sure if we get that in Fire Emblem Conquest. Very dubious. Come on, level 7. Oh, this is about normal. What's this? Plus for defense. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I ever seen this weapon before. That looks pretty good to me. Not B rank. Okay. So she was used quite a bit. We got the bald axe. And I guess she's the only user at the moment. Soon Odin's gonna take it from her though, so not for long. Nals, oh he got used a little bit. We have shiny mode plus one. Iron bow plus two. Duel Yumi? Oh, that is seal. Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm not quite sure if I agree in that. I don't know if this was Black Spike or Brainiac. I don't think Zorn is the type of person to do this. Brainiac, I'm not sure if he would do that either. Oh, yeah. Typical. Xander, Don Glory. Yeah, these weapons are. Oh, these are broken. Last of is pretty normal and pretty good on Xander, actually. 
Yeah, definitely not, not a fan of having these. Last though, well, he was used. He wasn't used that much. Perry. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> 30 strength? 28 base strength. 23. Okay, these are not normal stats. These are not normal stats. Actually, looking at your stat, 28 magic. 28 magic is awesome. A lot. I know that Leo has 14 base magic, base personal magic, and let's say you got 4 magic level, up, 4 magic level ups. Then I would put him at around 18 personal magic, and I know that Sorcerer has 9 magic, right? So that would be exactly 29, 28 magic. No, 27 magic even. And Divider definitely has less than Sorcerer, so like about 7, about 8. And either way, Leo would, at the very least, need one Spirit Dust. I assume he got a little more, because it's very unlikely that he got four magic levels, right? And Perry, yeah, she too. Like, I know for a fact that she had 15 defense last time I, I used her, uh, last time I saw her. And she was level 1 paladin, so plus 4 levels, not in any world would you get plus 8 Defense. So I don't know how many Jaco shields the visitation bonuses got, but this is definitely very biased. So my guess is that uh, that lag spike was the one responsible for this kind of stuff, because uh, this is pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 24 speed. Okay, speed could be normal, but I, the rest like strength and. That's just not possible. Birthright, Bagel and Awakening? Not sure if I agree on that. Uh, A rank Lances and B rank Swords. Ah, I guess you also got another Arm Scroll. A lag spike. First, you used the Arm Scroll illegally, and now you're getting another one? This way and give it to Perry again? This is... Uh, I don't know what to say this. This is just... This is just so unfair. I, I put all this effort to get b rank Swords and you just cheat your way all the way till here. Like, you tr like you, tr you tried to tell me that Parry is a good unit despite having all these Zed Beast days? Like, uh, I will try to not use her just because of this. Because of her goddamn weapon ranks. Okay, Forrest. Um, so his power lock was played. So I'm, so I'm guessing that Invasion 2 is still open. And he got double Demoiselle and Dome. Pretty generic, I guess. And yeah, unfortunately, I was spo I, I spoiled myself on this. I watched Brainiac's video for about 30 seconds. And then I saw this thing. And... God. Bog, he really outdid himself this time. <laughs> I, I, my brain could not comprehend what I was seeing at this moment. I'm sorry that I can't react to this for you guys on camera, but I, yeah. And yeah, aside from that, those are some nice offensive stats. Still worse than Odin, of course, like 21 speed. Uh, but she's not, so. Kaze is level 20, so he definitely wants to be promoted. Cap strength, pretty cool. And all of these visitation items. <coughs> Berka, okay, so we got a hammer. Nyx, uh, she was trained all the way to 20 and promoted, it seems. Then 20 and speed, yeah, that's that's really good. 20 magic, C and a half, um, web ranks, so not too much action on there. But she was used, so that was pretty fun. Hey, this is pretty much about what I expect, since it's up the ends on both. Well, I'm bored with this. And Ophelia, and... Uh, huh? <sighs> Why? Who did this? Brainiac or Black Spy? I don't know what to say to I don't know what to say to this. 
Ah. I mean, in hindsight, it's probably for the better that we don't have super failure because that would kind of degrade the quality of the gameplay and remove any kind of threat that we'd have later on. But still, see, not seeing advantage on Fiat is very painful. I don't know if it was Laxbug or Brainiac, because obviously one of them wants us to use Super Leo and the other does not want us to use Super Ophelia. And yeah, I cannot, I cannot say much with that information. Gunter, oh, he's almost level 13. Interesting. So ideally, you would just reclass him into Wyvern Lord and then get some skills from there. At least she's still level 2. I did watch Zoran's chapter 10 video, so I know that that she was the one there, and yeah, she didn't get much more XP from that. Azora, hey, she was used. <laughs> After he her into Kinjinite. D rank, so quite a bit actually. Effie? <laughs> okay, so it seems that I was lost per the last person who used her because I know she was level 12 and she got a little XP on my map. But yeah. This is a classic case of, yeah, the unit has good stats, but you need more conquest to be good. <clears throat> okay, Charlotte is a hero, so that's very interesting. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're not gonna have good paps this time around. I guess Keaton is still alive, and he wasn't used, it appears, maybe as a parap, but certainly not for combat. So, uh, the way he is, I guess I just could have killed him off last time because apparently nobody actually used him or was planning to use him. So, Jacob level 13, nothing special here. Salos got benched, pretty good. I'm still here. Delicious back and Arthur, he's still level one. Wow. I mean, his utility doesn't come from fighting, anyways. Much like a normal and typical conquest. Conquest gameplay where he's just a power bot. This time around, he's just a shelter bot and a defense bot. So, this is not too surprising. So, let's take a look at the supports. Odin and Arrow. It's pretty, pretty nice for him. Camilla. Not bad. This is pretty normal. Leo and Niles. Okay, he has C rank with Odin. I'll make, sh I'll make sure not to uh, use. Leo and Odin together because uh, if you're not if we're not doing Super Ophelia, I'm not on board with doing Super Leo. Oh, and Perry and Lasso are getting married, I guess. Maybe I should try to get one support point at least on my turn, so the next player can get them to S rank. And. Yeah. What can I say? Aside from these aside from these items, this is actually pretty good. So I would say my very first task is to get rid of all of these items. So yeah.
Welcome back, dear Steel Sword. I've missed you so much. You can't hear me here, but I was accusing Lag Spike of removing the cook, and turns out that was actually my fault because I destroyed the mess hall and then rebuilt it, so I didn't have Jacob or Perry as a cook. Alright, now that my preps are done, let's discuss the mine castle layout. The first thing that I did was remove this building which was here a moment ago. That was a mistake by me, and the second mistake was this accessory shop on this position. I replaced it with a mine. The problem with the accessory shop is that it gives passive bonus, much like the record saw which gives minus 3, and the prison which gives minus plus 5 crit. The problem with that is that the AI really loves going for it, so they would go down here all the way to accessory shop and bypass this choke point, which I created by using these three unstructable buildings. Don't of course, Xana is going to be the one choking without a weapon. Uh, Perry is going to be my shelterer. Also, it's going to be the transfer separator. And the least is simply the Demoiselle Bot. The reason why I chose Elise over someone like Forrest is because she has higher luck, and thus a higher staff point. Much for the same reason why I picked Perry over someone like Gunther is because she has a higher resistance, and thus more staff point. Mozo is my transfer separator of choice because she generates a bit of money with her skill. And Liam is simply here to bait some staffs. Odin can definitely solo this entire map. However, there are some cases where he simply relies on RNG. And one of the reasons why I decided to use this choke point here is so, as you can see, Xander absorbs a couple staffs and the most important part is Ben's thrift. Odin can dodge him pretty reliably, but there are some cases where that doesn't work out. Stand Leo is my staff bot of choice because I want to get some support between him and Xander. I promised Eltrank to go sorcerer Xander, so this is the second reason why I decided to use this choke point. My aching blood!
Now here's something important. The woods, the pillars, and the building, the name of which I cannot pronounce, are all positioned in a way so that these great knights do not attack Odin on the throne, who is going to have the 11 sword equipped. This way I can leave them later for some weapon EXP, but still kill this alley. Odin also got himself a stash of concoctions, so he basically cannot run I'll out of HP. Too. I never lose. Here I go. In the case where no healing can be done, Moza just waits because you can still generate some money. The chosen hero These Pegasi do no damage to Odin. They also have sometimes zero hit. This is a real unit. Anyways, because of this, they will basically never attack Odin. And since nobody sees a kill, they will not move. So this spot is You're basically a choke point. On the turn where the reinforcements come, the boss starts moving, and thus the Antrop mate as well. And this is where the strategy becomes very inconsistent. I basically have to rely on Liam getting Antropped once and dodging another time. And the range is barely outside of range of the other units, so I have to position myself this way. And the first time I had the choke Don't point worry. way lower than this and Xana basically was the only one who was in ultra range but this way there is some better chances for me to survive this. So yeah, aside from that, the only notable thing on this map are the launch weapons that are coming next turn. They aren't really a problem though, so I won't be going too into too much detail here at least. I'm gonna put the rest of the details somewhere below the video. But for now, enjoy part 3 of the Odin Solo. Holy Boogaloo.
No? Let's take a look at the supports. And I did unlock the C support between Xander and Leo. And Odin has got himself a ton of weapon XP. Take this, you arm scrolling cheater. Thanks for watching. I'm Zone, and I hope to see you next time.